Morning. What a beautiful day, huh? I know, it's gorgeous. Want some coffee? Sure. You know, this would be a great place to live if it were fires, floods, riots, earthquakes, and hordes of self centered actors. <laughs> Thank you. Got a sec? Sure. Good. There's something I need to talk to you about. Boy, that's got an ominous ring to it. No, 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 no. It's nothing bad. In fact, it's something wonderful. So it's about Carol? Yes. Should I prepare myself for the worst? And what in your mind would that be? Well, I guess that uh, you two had decided to live together and she and her little daughter were going to move in here with us. <laughs> No. Yes. We've given this a lot of thought, and it's something we both want. Well, I can understand you wanting her here. I mean, you obviously actually like her. It's more than liking her, Blossom. Yeah, I... yeah, yeah. Look, I know what you're going to say, and that's all wonderful for you, but, well, at the risk of sounding like a self-centered actor, what about me? <laughs> you're telling me I'm going to have strangers living in my house. I don't like that. I'm not even that crazy about living with Joey. Okay. Look, seriously, Blossom, I'll do whatever I can to make this easy for you. Mm-hmm. So what are the sleeping arrangements going to be? Well, since Joey's going to be on the road a lot of the time, I figure I'll give Kennedy his room and you'll be in your room. Hey, I guess that means I'm stuck with Carol. <laughs> You know, I'm not sure when it happened. I think it was right now, this very moment, but I've become a conservative. Yes, I'm feeling extremely traditional, very family-oriented, clinging to the old values. You know, like, oh, I don't know, marriage. Blossom, I finally found someone who makes me incredibly happy. Well, I'm happy that you're happy, Dad. Yep, I'm really ecstatic. Don't know about the future, that's anybody's guess. Ain't no good reason for getting all depressed. Buy up your pad and pencil, I give you a piece of my mind. In my opinion, nation, the sun is gonna show. Slap on a smile Come out and walk in the sun for a while Don't like the feeling You know you want to have a good time And in my opinion, nation The sun is gonna surely shine About Kennedy and Carol? Yeah, I'm cool with it. Really? Yeah. I mean, I figure if Dad can shack up with some babe, then he can't come down too hard on me if I do it. <laughs> exactly. See, he's setting a bad example. Right. Except I think that has a good example. <laughs> you truly are an amazing creature. Ah, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> You're actually the living embodiment of form over function. You're... You're vacuous, vapid, totally without compunction to violate any and all of the tenets of the secular world to indulge in your most primitive instincts, but you look good. Huh. <laughs> Come on, you're embarrassing me. <laughs> so, uh, what'd you say to Dad when he told you? I said, cool. <laughs> wow. What must it be like to be you? <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> And doesn't it even bother you that they're giving Kennedy your room? Plus, I mean, it's just a room. I mean, I'm going to be playing actual semi-professional baseball. Yeah, but not all the time. And when you're home, you'll be relegated to sleeping on the couch. No, I'll be in the garage apartment. Right. Uh, you, Tony, and Shelly. No, I'll be out there by myself. And where are they going to be? 
You don't know about this, do you? You know about what? Boss, I'm Tony and Shelly are getting in the wrong place. They're moving out. Sorry, Blossom. We each thought the other had told you. Well, where are you gonna go? Someplace close. Uh, an apartment, probably. Yeah, we want privacy. A little more room. The bed that doesn't have my father's car parked under it. <laughs> One question. Will you take me with you? Carol, huh? Yeah. What exactly is the problem between the two of you? Well, I guess it basically comes down to the fact that I regard her as an interloper, a poor surrogate for the mother who abandoned us, leaving me with mixed emotions and conflicts of inedible nature. <laughs> Plus, I hate the way she talks. Why, whatever do you mean, old chap? Hip, hip, chittio and all that. <laughs> I say bloody hell. Yes, we talk this way because our blamers are too tight. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. I'm just going to put on water for some tea. I'm not interrupting, am I? No, 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 no. no, 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 no. Just be a sec. There we are. Well, I'll leave you guys alone then. Okay, Carol. Nice to see you. Pretty blouse. I'm thanks. <laughs> and I don't wear bloomers. <laughs> It's all falling apart. What is? My life. Everything is being turned upside down and inside out, and I hate it. I am not happy about this stuff, Six. I mean, here I am starting my senior year in high school in what should be the happiest time of my life, and I've got people coming and going all over the place, which is preventing me from enjoying what is left of my youth, and it makes me angry and upset and more than a little confused as to what to do about it, and perhaps more disturbing than all of this is the fact that I'm starting to talk like you. <laughs> All right, how does this look? Are you going for a dark, brooding Anne Rice slash narcoleptic? <laughs> yeah. You got it. All right, you want my take on things? Yeah, as long as it doesn't contradict mine. Okay. Joey's going to be around, what, every other weekend or so, which is just about the amount of time you can stand being around him anyway. This is true. Anthony and Shelley are going to be in the neighborhood, which provides you with a great place to run when you argue with your dad. This is very good. And you'll get used to having Carol and Kennedy around. Two out of three, not bad. <laughs> you don't actually I mean, like, really, really hate this woman, do you? I don't know. She's got a lot going against her. Like what? She's beautiful. That's bad. My father's crazy about her. Two strikes. And she seems to like me. The woman is from hell. <laughs> It's a tough package, all right. Add to all of that the fact that she'll be living here, in this house, with her beautiful, intelligent child who's also crazy about me, and you've got a situation that's uh, pretty volatile. You know, I always used to pronounce that word volatile because I read it before I actually heard it. You know what they do to English children if they mispronounce a word? They drown them. <laughs> Is that right? Yes. They tie a cement dictionary to their little feet and they drop them in the Thames. <laughs> But this would be easier if any was still around. Yeah, when I was with him, I wouldn't have noticed if Richard Simmons moved in and started sweating to the oldies. <laughs> you know, maybe that's what your dad's going through. I mean, he and Carol are like you and Vinny. Although, I find that thought a bit distasteful to visualize. <laughs> Thank you for bringing it to my attention. I can always count on you, Six. Well, you know I'm here for you. Thanks. Gotta go. Got a date with the bald kid tonight. Eddie Lefkowitz? Yeah. He found out my dad left a tube of Rogaine behind. <laughs> Call me later. I will. When are they moving in anyway? Tomorrow. Wanna come to my house? No, I'm gonna have to face it sooner or later. Okay. Bye. Bye. scared me. Sorry. What are you doing sitting here in the dark? Just sitting here remembering stuff that's happened in here. Stuff? Stuff like what stuff? I don't know. Just stuff. Stuff uh, with mom. Picking the spot on the wall for the phone, mm. or uh, that burn on the butcher block from her cigarette before she quit smoking the fourth, fourth time. time. 
Or when I ran into Tony in here when he came back from rehab and how strong he seemed to be that night. Mm. Or the time Joey jammed an unopened milk carton into his mouth and we had to call the paramedics. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's the trouble with growing up. You find out the truth about time. And what do you mean? Uh, basically, all you're left with is memories. And the room stays the same, but the people change and go away. Sucks, doesn't it? Yeah, sometimes. But there's a lot of good stuff, too, and that's what you gotta focus on. I'm not happy about all this change, Dan. I know. I just want you to give it a chance. Well, I can't make you any promises. I can't control the way I feel. Neither can I, kiddo. Neither can I. This is the last of it. I don't ever want to move again. Oh. Oh. Now that's good news. Mm. Neither do I. I hope you've done the right thing. Mommy! Joey just me his entire collection of Playboy magazines. What? Joe. Oh, relax, Dad. I ripped out every single picture and I'm taking them with me. Whoa! <laughs> must be so proud. <laughs> What's this about? Oh, that's Treasure Island, a great adventure story. Can I read it? Well, this might even be over your head, but I'd be happy to read it with you. That would be lovely. Would you like to show me your new room? I'd love to. Okay, lead the way. <laughs> I've lost my time. Would you like to see my new room? No, thanks. I've already seen it. I'm trying. Hey, look what Kennedy found. Oh, Treasure Island. Yeah, I'm thinking of giving it to her. But you gave it to me, which, if I'm not mistaken, means it's not yours to give. Wow. She seems pretty bummed out about all this, huh, Dad? What was your first clue, Joe? Was it when she threw out all the English muffins? The Queen Elizabeth dartboard? Or the subtle way she has of slipping the phrase, I wish you weren't here, into the word hi? No, it was when she told me she was pretty bummed out about all this. Ah, listen, maybe I could talk to her. Would you, Joe? She listens to you. No, she doesn't. It's that handle thing. You just pull on it. I was just remembering very clearly, actually, what it was like to look at the top shelf of the freezer and not be able to reach it. I used to boost you up. That's right, because Dad put all his ice cream in the back. That didn't even slow us down. <laughs> you want some? No, thanks. I got to finish packing. I'm leaving tomorrow night, you know. That soon, huh? Yep. You know, I can remember what everything used to take forever, like... Summer would never get here, or the clock in school moved like one minute every hundred years, and birthdays, I mean, forget about it, they never came. Jeez, that is weird, huh? Now it feels like I'm having a birthday every ten minutes. So look, are you gonna be okay here or what? Yeah, I'll be okay, I'll be fine, I'm just not sure I'll be happy. Why don't you try looking at the good stuff? Like what? Like... I'm not going to be around as much to give you grief. Well, I guess I can tell you now. What? I've enjoyed growing up with you. Really? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're probably the best brother a girl could have. How do you figure that? You're sweet, you're funny. My girlfriend's always enjoyed coming over to look at you. You watched out for me. Oh, you know, that's because you were so pathetic. You needed a lot of help. 
I'm going for warmth here, Joe. You're not helping. I know, I know. I just say stuff like that when things start to get too mushy, you know? I'm gonna miss having you around here all the time. I'm gonna miss you, too. But you know what? I'm only gonna be a few hours away, and you can come to all the games that you want. I think family members get free beer or something. <laughs> so you scared? Absolutely terrified. You're gonna do great. For openers, you'll have the best hair in baseball. Yeah, I will, won't I? <laughs> Without a doubt. Thanks. It's a great building. Lots of interesting people. We live right next door to a pilot. So I'll have someone to go to AA meetings with. <laughs> I hope you'll be very happy there. So do I. Me too. <laughs> Pass the chicken, please. Gonna like the building, Blas. You know those Spanish ones with the central courtyard and the fountain? Mm-hmm. Well, there's one of those right across the street. <laughs> <laughs> God, I remember my first flat. I was I'm getting eating. coffee. Does anybody want some? Blossom, you interrupted Carol. Oh, did I? I'm so terribly sorry, and it was such an interesting story. Go ahead. No, no, that's all right. I know you didn't do it on purpose. I'm sure everyone would love some coffee. Well, all right, then. Add for your tea, please. <laughs> no problem. Five good old American Javas and one tea. Coming up. Sorry. It's going to take time. And maybe a cattle prod. <laughs> Is Blossom unhappy, Mum? Well, she's gonna miss Jerry. So will I. Whoa! <laughs> and Tony and Shelley are leaving. But you and I are here to convince them. Exactly. It's me. It's open. I am trying, I swear to God. I know you are, hon, but it's not working. And I think I have the solution. What is that? I'm giving you the house. <laughs> right. No, I mean it. That way you can live here all by yourself in peace and harmony. The only person who could possibly annoy you is you. Come on, Dad, I just, I don't think this is morally right. You know, it's real easy to take the moral high ground here, but I don't think that's where you live. I think there's something else going on with you, and I think that's what you need to be thinking about. But you don't have to give me an answer right now. I'm going to think about it some more myself. We'll talk again soon. Hello. Hi, it's me. Guess what? Hmm, my father just offered to give me the house. Cool. No, it's not cool. He's threatening to run away from home. He's basically said this town's not big enough for the both of us. Wow, what did you do to provoke that? Nothing at all. Well, guess I copped a bit of an attitude with Carol. So what's new? Maybe this was the attitude that broke the camel's back. I suppose I should be happy they're doing this and not actually getting married or anything. This way there's still hope or anything. This way there's still hope. Well, I mean, the offer still stands to come stay over here. Thanks. We could do like a major sister thing, you know, exchange clothes, gossip, do stuff together. And that's what we do now. Oh. <laughs> I'll keep you posted. Yeah, okay. Bye. Bye. Yeah, sure. Come on in. I was reaching, and I got stuck. What's this word? Precocious. <laughs> what does that mean? Well, it uh, describes a person who's ahead of their time, wise beyond her years, or 
his years, as the case may be. Although, in my experience, girls tend to be more precocious than boys, but this is a highly subjective observation. I'll bet that you are a really special child. <laughs> Why do you say that? You just got this way about you. Like you always smart and talented and precocious. I don't know, I guess maybe a little. <laughs> Is your mom nice? Yeah, yeah, she's nice. Uh, she's a singer. She's really good. She left you, didn't she? Yes, she did. My daddy left us too. Well, it's not easy. No, but it's much better now. I get to use your dad, and you get to use my mom. If you need to, that is. Although, I don't suppose the mother is such a big deal when you get older. Oh, no, it's still important. That doesn't change. No. But it's taking too much of your time. Well, okay, yeah. Uh... Stop in any time. We never close. <laughs> I like it when you're silly. Bye. Bye. Uh, Kennedy, wait. Um, there's something I want to give you. Treasure Island? I read it when I was your age. Well, actually, I think I was a year younger, but you might get a kick out of it. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. I'll see you later. See you later. Bye-bye. I was. I did. I did. Came back to get my car keys. An essential item if you want to move. <laughs> Thought you were at the movies with six. No, I lied about that and hid in my closet. That's perfectly reasonable. I couldn't say goodbye. I am maxed out on upheaval, Tony. One more emotionally meaningful experience, and I'm up in the tower with a rifle, okay? You are amazing. Please. I don't know. You're so together. You're so cool. <laughs> but on the inside, you are this swirling mass of insecurity. Just like me. You. Since when are you insecure? Since the doctor slapped me to get me breathing. <laughs> Since birth? No, that happened in 88. You know, I, I just can't believe you would duck me on a thing, uh, this big. I'm sorry. Nah, don't be sorry. I understand. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. You don't. I do. You don't. I do. You can't. I can. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. Okay. Good. <laughs> Tell me everything's gonna be all right. Everything is gonna be all right. How far away are you moving? Eight blocks. There was nothing around five blocks, huh? This is what it's all about, Blossom. Change, adapting, moving forward. You know, you don't do this stuff, moss starts to grow on your northern side. Comprende? Yeah. Ah, you speak Spanish. I love you, Tony. I love you, too. So, ready to lift things? Yeah. Ready for a little movement? Yes, I think I'm ready. Then let's go. Ah, there they are. Mm. Oh, this is great. <laughs> this is almost like, um... A family. <laughs> I don't think I ever had one of those, at least in the traditional sense. Well, this certainly isn't traditional. But it's nice. Hey, softening up a little, huh? <laughs> yes, Joe, I was inspired by your head. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. 
played. <laughs> When's your first game, Jerry? Friday night in Bakersfield. Oh. You're going to do great, Joe. I just know it. I don't know, Dad. You know, baseball is not as easy as it looks. <laughs> oh, but I think that it looks right pretty hard. You're an amazing athlete, Joey. Oh, well, thank you, Kennedy. <laughs> how does she know how to do that? It's inherited. <laughs> just like Joey's athletic prowess. Aw, oh, shucks. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've just exceeded my kiss-up tolerance, so if you'll excuse me, I'm going to bed. Oh, Blossom, would you bring me some of Treasure Island? Not tonight, Kennedy. I've got stuff to do. Oh, please. I'd be ever so grateful. <laughs> And I'm falling for it, too. Okay, Your Highness, you're on. Oh, goody! Yeah, I gotta finish packing, too. Hey, um, just a sec before you guys go, uh, Carol and I have an announcement to make. We're engaged to be married. All right! Yes! Yes! yes. yes. Blossom? That went well. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep.